Hey, cup holder people. Fix that. Close up. Anyhow, driving to work. It's Thursday, which is usually the beginning of my work week, but this week it's a six day work week. Yay! Yeah, so this is the third day. I did my normal four hour shift on Tuesday. Um, Wednesday, I went in in the morning to the usual afternoon shift because we had a staff meeting and the CEO of the company come in. Oh. And uh, the CEO, with like the owner of the company, and the COO or whatever, I forget the initials. Number one and number two. Top dogs. Uh, we had some stuff, some drama going on at work, so they were giving us a lowdown and what's going on and so on and so on. So basically, I was there for eight hours, did eight to four, got paid to sit on my butt and do little to nothing, really. Yeah, I really didn't do a whole heck of a lot. So, but I was there and had, had to be there for the meeting anyhow. And we got another staff meeting next week. <sighs> but that one's been on the books for the past month. So yeah, I'm starting well, I'm heading to work now, and this is uh, day three of six in a row. And normally this is my Monday. So, yeah. I don't know what I was, I've been having weird dreams lately. So, I uh, ended up sleeping funny and I guess I was twisted six ways from Sunday. My back's killing me today. And I haven't even gotten to work yet. So, I don't know what the topic of this one's going to be, but uh, just an update, so to speak, I guess. So, yeah, I got paid by both companies, which was great. I got to pay rent. Got to do the oil change on the truck, which I needed to do. Got to fill up the gas tank. Um, a little this, a little that, and still actually got some money in my pocket. Not much, but some money. <laughs> I'm not totally broke. And I still got the money set aside for the truck insurance and truck payment that are coming out this week. Well, next week. Anyhow, and I, I got money. Not a lot, but you know, like I said, Love it, so it's good. Um, oh, I'm working by myself as per usual lately, so it's probably going to be a slow, relaxed night. Um, one client, my buddy Q, well, he's usually going out and about today, so whether he is off doing his usual social outing or whether he's working he should be out of the house so the last half of my shift should be okay I'll have someone to keep me company and bug me and annoy me and his usual <laughs> love you buddy you're a pain in the butt but I still love you anyhow uh yeah so we'll see I don't know like I said just basically a general update for how she goes. Um, yeah. Mm, Brakes. Crosswalk like. Aye. Most interesting thing that's happened in the past couple of days, other than staff meeting, is I took. I got a necklace I normally wear. You may or may not have seen it in kind of the videos in the you know, the edge of you know, the shirt or whatever. It's a twist chain kind of rope necklace I love it I got like three or four rings at least three possibly four rings that for I don't know whatever reason are not they're out of place maybe the necklace got snagged and pulled on into something but they're all in one section so we got a local guy um, local business is called Ken's Goldsmith and they make jewelry custom jewelry and everything 
So if you want someone to fix stuff, you take it to them, and if they can't fix it right off the bat, you take it to wherever else you bought it from, and they ship it off. But he's local, so I took it there to see, hey, you know, can you fix this? Oh, well, you know, it's a rope chain. Well, it's a simple twist chain. Yeah, well, no, it's a rope pattern. Like, dude, you're trying to... It's a twist chain, but it's a very thick, ring-heavy rope chain. Yeah, twist chain. So they call it a rope chain because it's thick like a rope. It's a twist chain pattern. So he, he's trying to be all technical about it. You know, the kid's young enough to be, you know. Well, he's probably in his 20s, maybe early 30s. So he's old enough to be one of my kids, basically. And he's, he's trying to be all professional about it. Uh, I told him, like, you know, I could go home and I could fix it myself. But it's going to be a real B, you know, and well, it's going to be a real bitch for me personally. I do chain mail and I showed him my bracelet, you know, like, can you get in your own lane, dude? Jesus. Wow. Sorry, guys, basically sitting in my lap. Expect to hear the vehicles grinding against one another. He's getting so freaking close. Anyhow, um, it's a pattern I can make myself it's something I can fix myself but the rings are small and the patterns tight which makes it really um, difficult and I will need a magnifying glass so I can you know make it easier to see to visualize and I I've got the needle nose pliers a couple sets of needle nose pliers so I can do it but the one set of needle nose pliers I like the best, they actually have um, like a textured surface, so they, if you squeeze hard enough, they actually leave marks in the metal. And uh, the other ones you can get, they're smooth, so they don't actually damage the metal. So, you know, it's, it's, a, it, it's not a technically difficult thing to do, it is a physically difficult small tight pattern it's irritating and annoying I can't fix it myself I will fix it myself but I figured I'd take it to a professional and he's like you know I can go in the back for half an hour 45 minutes but I can pretty much guarantee you I'm not gonna be able to put it back together you know if you was building it it wouldn't be a problem but because I got to make sure the rings go in the right place in the right order da 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 da, da you know I, I can pretty much guarantee you I'm not gonna be able to do it. I'm like, hey, no problem, don't worry about it. I figured I'd take it to a professional because it'd be quick, you know, quicker and easier and less irritating. But I'll take it home and I'll fix it myself then. I'm, I know I can do it, but I just didn't want to, de you know, deal with the annoyance, so I figured I'd get a professional. But since you're a professional, and tell him you can't do it, I'll take it home and I'll fix it myself, buddy. Guy's a freaking professional telling me he can't do it. Seriously, it's annoying. It's a pain in the butt, but it's not impossible. It's not Mission Impossible. It isn't. It is possible to do it. It's not. It's a challenge, yes. It's just I don't really want to deal with the challenge. I love the chain. I'm really happy with it. The only real issue I got with it is it's about inch and a half to two inches too long. So I take it and I actually tie it in a knot, so it doesn't hang down so low. But yeah, other than that, I can fix it. Thing is, I will fix it. And then next time I'm at uh, Ken's Gold uh, in the mall, I will make a point of taking it off, going into Ken's Goldsmith, going, "Look, I fixed it. Told you it was fixable. It was just a real pain in the butt." So yeah, I went to the dollar store. And I got a magnifying glass, a reasonably decent sized magnifying glass, so I can, you know, see it easier. And the lucky thing is, you put two AA batteries in it, and it's got a button, and it lights up. So all I'm going to have to do is take a little bit of duct tape, so I can tape the button, so it's, it doesn't, as long as you hold the button, it's on. If you let go of the button, it goes off. So if I want it to be lit up and stay lit up, I'm going to have to tape the button so it stays on. But I'll fix this necklace myself. It's not impossible. It's something that can be done. It's annoying. It's going to make me angry. It's going to frustrate the crap out of me. But I'll do it. 
That's why I want to take it to a professional. Nothing like a professional saying that they can't do it when you know it can be done. I guess it's a, a little brighter on the phone than I thought. Yeah, well, I'm almost at work. Not that you can see me. Oh, there I am. Uh, so, yeah, that's it. Just a bit of an update, no big deal. Uh, to my three whopping three subscribers, thank you very much. Hope you enjoy it. And to anybody else who comes across, if you liked what you what you see feel free to subscribe see more feel free to leave a comment if you got something to say I have to here. I'm, right back. I'm in a pickup truck and the way things are parked I'm sticking out too far so I'm gonna do a little zip around the uh, All the sacks here and perk on the side. Yada yada yada. You know, there is no good music on the radio lately. Absolutely none, I swear. Boring and dumb. Alright, I am at work. Have a good day. Later.